the big up the pack chat. People are saying what? R.I.P. Joe Rogan. Oh, hello, hello. That's a good little troll to run with, though, on the day of, of um, Queen Lizzie's death. And talking about Queen Lizzie's death, I just wanted to touch on that because obviously I'm a Brit. Um, obviously, I am um, somebody who would be touched about her passing. So R.I.P. Um, Queen Elizabeth II. Um, she passed. She is gone. She um, had a good life, a very um, long life, I think. There's not a lot of, because um, I put, you know, my tribute here for Queen Elizabeth II was her ability to essentially drive herself around her manner and just in terms of life at that kind of age. I don't think I've seen any other person, um, at, you know, plus the age of 80 being able to drive or being allowed to drive. So that is essentially the great representation, I feel like, of privilege that you're able to get behind your car and drive and drive and drive. I've never really found out why they always have their car in a dark forest green i guess maybe something to do with windsor so that maybe might some be some kind of reason behind it but if she wasn't in a range she was in a jag if it wasn't in a jag she was in a jeep if it wasn't in a jeep she would be driven around in some sort of horse and carriage so she had a fucking amazing life so big up queen lizzie for having a great life being able to just be taking these amazing pictures i always enjoyed the pictures of her driving and, con and looking because that's the thing i liked about queen elizabeth right these photo stunts weren't photo stunts in a conventional sense. They were stunts, but she was actually doing the stunt. She was like Tom Cruise before Tom Cruise was Tom Cruise, right? She was the one actually behind the world, doing the thing, actually going there and kissing babies, shaking hands, um, stealing, you know, artworks from, from, from third world countries and bringing them back and putting them to museums. Like she was doing it, stealing jewels, all that good stuff, right? And, um, so here she is, obviously driving, um, obviously, um, about to run over a very small child and, and his or her's dad, which is kind of great to see here. Queen Lizzie behind the whip, behind the wheel, doing, um, doing a, whatchamacallit, doing a Chris Jenner before Chris Jenner, which is absolutely crazy. Or no, what's her name? Before, uh, Catelyn Jenner before Catelyn Jenner. So she's obviously doing that thing, looking like she's going on a run, looking like she's going on, um, on the milk run the day after, or, you know, on a little offy run the day after having a bit of a heavy session. That's clearly something that she's doing. So all that stuff is good. But me personally, I've had a very complex and interesting relationship with, with the royal family, as most people who are immigrants of this country have, especially when it comes to their colonialism, their colonial past or colonialism past, right? It's something that you can't really shake, especially if you start reading up on it a bit more. Um, but the one thing I think most people, especially, um, most immigrants as well. I don't know why black people are so connected to her, but the one thing that kind of shook most people up, I think, and kind of um, removed any illusion or any kind of fairy tale associated with the royal family was when Princess Diana was killed, right? Um, I think that's when everybody's eyes were kind of opened as in how dark and scary and really kind of frightening this family can get if they could essentially off um, Princess Diana because they didn't agree with who she was um, essentially getting shacked up with after her separation with them, Charles. So that's something that's always kind of disturbed me now regard and obviously all the other stuff in terms of like you know artworks from around the world and stealing that and jewels and whatnot it's just a very sketchy and dodgy family you know in general and you know and there's probably some dark witchcrafty satanic -y things involved in it as well but again i'm not that crude up on it not that educated on it but i know from the stuff that i did read stuff that i did see i didn't like it but again i have nothing but respect for a lady that's able to whip herself around after the age of 90 i feel like people crying now and get upset she passed is a bit ridiculous she lived in she lived into her 90s most of us won't even see our 90s she was still walking unaided with the, only the help of a stick in her late 90s she lived a really fruitful i feel like life you know the trappings of everything that she wanted the you know she wasn't even the one percent she was in the top zero 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 point point percent percentile in terms of quality of life this whole debate around the energy bill was not affecting her so you know big up her let her rest and lie in peace and do all that good stuff i still can't believe that she ended up dying before fucking prince philip prince philip legitimately looks like he's on death's door but somehow he's hanging around and, you know, Queen Elizabeth is fucking gone. How'd that happen? I guess it's just, you know, it's like, it's like those family members that you have, right? Where you have a family member who might smoke and drink all the time, but then you have another family member who goes on like marathons and stuff and all they eat is like, you know, um, white rice and chicken. And then they, they're the ones that develop cancer, but the one that was smoking all the time and drinking and doing bumps and flipping coke and ketamine every weekend, they're completely fine. So I think that might be the reason, but it's crazy that this fucker is still alive somehow. 
How's he still alive? Who knows? Who cares? But again, RIP Queen Elizabeth. We're probably going to get loads of great bank holidays and, you know, stuff uh, happening as, as this kind of transpires and it goes through. There's some news or some story about, um, football being cancelled, which I'm absolutely gutted about. The next few fixtures in the Premier League might get postponed in the honor of, you know, or to kind of um, respect her flipping passing or whatnot, which is flipping annoying. I don't know what Queen Elizabeth has to do, has to do with football, but hey, it is what it is. She's been whipping and driving around for a time, isn't it? She was a bit of a she was a bit of a piece back in the day, innit? Right? She she was a bit of a piece back in the day, but then when she started getting older, like, you know, she started to age like a flipping avocado, but she was definitely a bit of a piece back in the day, Queen Lizzie, innit? She definitely get it. No? Don't you think so? Obviously, if I tried to approach her back then, she'd probably have my hands cut off or something, you know? Get this nigga out of here. Uh, this nigga the most is trying to touch me. No. So that wouldn't happen. But anyway, <laughs> let's move on. Let's move on.